Hello dear students, welcome back to my English video class. Students, today I am going to take the poem of your class 11th English textbook hornbill that is the laburnum top, okay. What do you mean by laburnum? Laburnum is a tree, okay, with hanging branches, yellow flowers and poisonous seeds. So it's a beautiful poem by Ted Hughes. Uh, let's try to find it out what exactly is there in the introduction part of it. The poem The Laburnum Top describes the mutual relationship between a laburnum tree and a goldfinch bird. Okay, a beautiful relation, mutual relation has been described in this poem between both, both of that. them the tree and a goldfinch bird. The tree is yellow, silent, and death like. Okay. As there is no movement in the tree, it's a time of an autumn season. So all the leaves of the tree have fallen down and that's what the poet says that it is made alive by the bird and her young ones, okay? As the yellow bird takes a shelter on the tree where she feeds her young ones, okay? She takes the shelter with her young ones and she feeds them. But as soon as the bird leaves to fly in the sky, the tree becomes silent and death-like again. How beautiful the narration of the poet is. Okay, so this is all about the introduction part of this chapter. Now let's come to the some selected keywords of this chapter. Then finally we'll summarize. So let's take the first word that is goldfinch. As I said, goldfinch is a word, a small singing word with yellow feathers on its wings. Okay, that is goldfinch. Abrupt. What do you mean by abrupt? Abrupt means sudden movement. Okay, rapid movement. That is what abrupt. If you say abruptly, it becomes suddenly. Okay, so abrupt means sudden. Tremble. If something is trembling, that means it is shivering, it is quivering. To tremble means to shake, to quiver, to vibrate. That is what? Tremble. Eerie. What is eerie? Eerie means weird. If something is weird, strange, that is called eerie. Subsides. If something is being subsided, that means diminishes. Khatam hona samapt karna. Okay? So that is what? Subsides, diminishes. What is twitching? Twitching. Twitching is sudden jerk movement. So the next word is chitterings that means to make a chattering sound okay so these were some of the words that i have taken for you all okay uh, for more words you can read out the books go through that and therefrom you can learn okay to enrich your vocabulary now let's move on to the summary of the chapter before coming to the key points now let's discuss something about the poet here the poet was famously known as Ted Hughes, okay, but his actual name was Edward James Hughes, okay. He was an English poet, translator and children's writer and he was one of the best writer in 20th century, okay. So this is all about the poet Ted Hughes. Students, now let's come to the key points. Let me tell you, this poem has been divided in three stanzas, okay. In the first stanza, we are going to study about the description of the laburnum tree before the bird reaches to it, okay? Before the goldfinch bird reaches to it, this tree has been described in the first stanza. The second stanza of this poem describes the coming of the bird as the word takes shelter in it, okay? And the third stanza describes the condition of the tree, okay? The third stanza describes the condition of the tree as the word flies away or you can say as the word goes away. So what it becomes that is all being sweetly described by the poet Ted Hughes, okay? So let's see in the first stanza what has been described about the tree. Here the poet says that he saw a laburnum tree whose leaves were yellow. The top of the tree is still and silent in the daytime of September month. It is autumn season and all the seeds of the tree had fallen, okay? As you all know that it's very common in autumn season especially that the leaves of the tree fall down, okay? So that same had happened with this laburnum tree. In this first stanza, the poet describes the whole scene of the tree using the word yellow, okay? Why the poet has used the word yellow? As it symbolizes silence, death, and beauty okay so in this stanza the poet describes the stillness of the tree okay as he says the top of the tree is still and silent there is no movement in the tree so that is all about the description 
uh, in the first stanza by the poet okay now let's move on to the second stanza of this poem and when we come to the second stanza we find that the death like scene of the tree ends as a word goldfinch comes and makes sudden chirp sound okay as soon as the word goldfinch comes and takes shelter in this tree uh, the gold scene of the tree diminishes okay the word being rapid and alert like a la the bird being rapid and alert like a lizard sits on the branches okay what is more being described what is more being described the bird being rapid and alert like a lizard sits on the branches of the tree okay and what happened as she moved towards the thickness of the branch her younger ones started chirping and doing vibrations with wings okay so this makes a sudder this vibrates the tree okay and they are making a sound like a machine okay and because of the movement of the bird and her young ones the tree starts to shake okay there is a movement in the tree that can be seen and thrill and in this way it seems as if a whole machine is working okay as a machine works it starts it makes sound the complete vibrations can be seen the same thing is happening here in the second stanza with this tree the bird provides food to her young ones okay perhaps the bird has made a nest in this tree and while feeding to her young ones she moves from one branch to the other branch and the activity of the bird shakes the complete tree and it brings the vibration in the tree okay with the same as the bird has dark colored stripped face and that's what it is visible as her body is yellow colored okay so in this stanza we find that how beautifully the poet has narrated like how the scenario changes as soon as the bird goldfinch comes and takes shelter in this tree the tree become active the tree become alive there is movement and just because of the chirping sound the complete scenario has become blithe and blissful so that's all is being described in the second stanza now let's move to the third stanza and when we come to the third stanza we see that after reaching the end of the branch the word makes a sweet chirping sound just like whispering okay students what do you mean by whisper whispering is an act of speaking in a low voice or you can say speaking in a quiet voice okay without any stress to the vocal cord when you speak that is what whispering so whispering to the young ones it seems as if goldfinch were giving some secret message to her young ones so after whispering the goldfinch word flies away towards the infinite sky okay what do you mean by infinite infinite means boundless or you can say endless sky so as soon as the word leaves the tree it flies away towards the infinite sky the laburnum tree again becomes silent and death like okay so that's all have been described beautifully in this poem by the poet so that's it for now thank you so much take care and goodbye